Assalamu alaikum. In today's video I just wanted to share my experience that I had recently with my small cousin girl at the wedding of my another cousin. And it's funny, I asked about the chicken and the egg question. So I asked like which came first, the chicken or the egg? What do you think? And I asked it like around the table because it was like young kids and everybody. And it was interesting, you know, everybody was like chicken, no egg, egg, chicken, you know, like 10 year old, 11 year old kids. And then my cousin who's like nine, I think she's nine or 10, I'm not sure. Uh, she, 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 she was really thinking about it like, okay, chicken or the egg, but how could there be a chicken without the egg? And how could there be just an egg? What about the evolution? And then she, and then I asked her, okay, so how did that process start? Like if there was just an egg or a chicken or something, how did that begin? And she said, well, God, <laughs> like, she said, just like God. And I'm like, yeah, you are correct. And uh, that was actually the answer I was looking for. <laughs> and she came to it like pretty naturally, like it made sense to her that God created this process. Now, I'm sure she didn't mean the religion of Catholicism, which she's being taught. But anyways, this is the fit that I'm talking about. Look, behind me, there's a Pope. But anyways, that's what I'm talking about. And it was like a really cool thing to hear, you know, because we hear about the fitra, we hear about everything like that, but to see it in action and to see like all the other, let's say kids not get it. And the youngest one just answering God, not from the perspective of being like dumb, but just really thinking it through that there is no other option. Like something had to trigger this process. Similarly to the Big Bang and everything else, the cosmological arguments, like you can believe in that, but it still requires an explanation. Everything that has a beginning has a cause. Somebody's singing. And somebody's crazy. And so everything has a cause. Everything has a creator. Everything has a beginning. You can't just start a process and not have a beginning to it. And uh, if you have a beginning to it, then that beginning had to come from somewhere else. And until you stop this chain of events, until you explain it with something that doesn't have a beginning, that doesn't begin to exist and doesn't need a cause to exist, then you will forever have this chain, you will forever have these problems. It's actually a very deep philosophical argument, which is very easy to understand even for a kid. Because it's natural, it's like, yes, I get it. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Let me know. And, you know, as you know, I'm hanging out here in Slovakia, in my motherland. And it's pretty nice. So I'm going to show you around. And you'll see that it's not as bad as you're being told. It's pretty cool. See you around. 